Welcome Rising 6th graders, I'm Dr. Broadhead. It's a pleasure to get an opportunity to speak to each and every one of you. I would love to be able to see you face to face, but unfortunately, here we are in virtual reality. Uh, well, today is the beginning of the rest of your academic future as we prepare you for what's going to be going on at Bennettsville Middle School and then beyond Bennettsville Middle School. I know middle school is a milestone, so we hope to be able to answer quite a few questions that are normally asked whenever it comes to worries or concerns about middle school in this video. But of course, we're going to have a long relationship, so any other questions or concerns that you may have, you always feel free to ask me a question directly, ask any staff member, as well as any counselor regarding any concerns or any questions, frustrations you may have, because we're here for you. So sit back, enjoy, relax, and don't stress out. We got you. Hello, my name is Dr. Tremell, and I am one of the counselors at Bennett's Mill. We would like to welcome you to our school, where we are Bronco Strong. Hello, my name is Layla. I'm from Fayetteville Elementary School, and my question is, is the school really big? Hi guys. I'm Ms. Gillette and I teach sixth grade math. My question was, is Bennett's Mill really big? And I want to start by telling you at first, Bennett's Mill is going to seem really big compared to your elementary schools. But I promise you this, that after the first week or so, you'll be an expert at getting to all of your classes no matter where they are in Bennett's Mill. Your teachers will be sure to show you where all of your classes are and we will have students ready and willing to help you all the time. Hi, my name is Sita and I go to Fayetteville Elementary. My question is, what does the school look like? Hello future Bennett's Mill Broncos. This is Mrs. Pollard and I teach English. The question that I was asked was, what does the school look like? The best way that I would describe the school would be to divide it in half. One side of the building is where core academic instruction happens and each grade level is on its own hallway. Core academic instruction includes science, math, social studies, and English. Your classes are very close to each other and typically next door to one another. On the other side of the building, you have connections, library, and cafeteria. Connections have Technology Hallway and the Fine Arts Hallway, which includes band, orchestra, chorus, and art. These two hallways are separated by the gym. I hope this helps you to understand the layout of Bennett's Mill Middle School. My name is Nathan, and I'm from Inman Elementary School. My question is, how is middle school different from elementary school? Hi, Nathan. I'm Miss Davis. I'm a sixth grade English teacher. Your question was wonderful. You asked the difference between middle school and elementary school, and there are several differences. Um, one really cool difference is that you get a locker. Lockers are cool. You can decorate the inside. You don't have to worry about forgetting your combination because all of your teachers can help you. All you have to do is ask and we'll be right there at your service. Um, if you forget how to use the lock, just ask for help and we'll be right there. Um, so you don't have recess but you will have time to be social and talk to your friends. Um, we, you will have several different teachers instead of just one or two. So you'll have a teacher for each subject and you'll get to know them and their personalities and fun things they do in their classrooms. Um, you don't have to worry about getting lost as you change classes because they're all right next to each other. So you just, you know, you walk across the hall for English, you walk across the hall for social studies and you won't get lost. And as for connections, your teachers will help you make sure you know the way to your connections and they change every nine weeks so you won't have to worry about getting bored or you can always switch it up. So we are really looking forward to having you all there and I hope that you shake off all your middle school jitters and even if you still have them on the first day of school, we will get through it together. So I can't wait to meet you guys and middle school is a pretty big life change. So congratulations, you made it through elementary school and now you're getting ready to embark on a whole new journey and you're gonna love it. Hello, my name is Joshua and I am from Spring Hill Elementary School. 
My question is, what does a typical day look like for a sixth grade student? What does a typical day look like for a sixth grade student? Well, that's an excellent question, and I'm sure it's running through your mind right now. I'm Ms. Patterson, I teach math on the sixth grade hall, and I'm here to share a little bit of information about what a sixth grader does during the day. The first thing that you'll do is report to the gym or go to breakfast. This is a time to just collect your thoughts, get a good meal in for the day, and just prepare yourself for what's to come. The next thing you'll do is go to your locker. Don't worry, there's plenty of people to help you in the hallway, especially if it's your first time opening a locker. Be patient with yourself, it takes some time. Then you're gonna attend your academic classes. Good news is, they're mainly all in the same hallway. Isn't that great? So you don't have to worry about being late to class, you have your teachers right there to guide you, and you'll see your friends throughout the day. You will have lunch on your team sometime during those academic classes, and don't worry, we'll make sure that you know where to sit, where to get your lunch, where to get everything that you need, just to make sure you get your nourishment for the day. After that, you're gonna attend your Connections classes. I'm not gonna tell you about Connections classes, but some other great teacher on sixth grade hall is gonna tell you about that. Lastly, you go home. Yeah, after all that work, you'll be tired, and trust me, you'll be ready to go home. Mainly, you don't have to worry about a lot because we're there to help you. You're gonna see your friends, you're gonna make new friends, and you're gonna do the best that you can during sixth grade. All we want you to focus on now is enjoying your summer, and we'll see you next school year. Take care. My name is Jasmine from Cleveland Elementary. I'm wondering when and how I will get my locker. Can you explain that to me? My name is Katie Strauss and I'm the ESOL teacher here at Bennett's Mill Middle School. You will be getting your locker on Meet the Teacher Night. Your parents will pay the fee and you will be able to go directly down to the sixth grade hall and you'll find your locker and practice opening it. Your teachers will also help you all during the first week of school so there will be no problem at all. Hi, my name is Ryan White from Cleveland Elementary School. My question is about the connection classes at Bennett's Mill Middle School. Can you tell me what classes are offered at Bennett's Mill Middle School? Hi, I'm Mrs. Ruggieri at Bennett's Mill Middle School. I'm a sixth grade science teacher and I'm here to talk about connections. As you can see, we have a long list of connections classes available at Bennett's Mill. We have art and drama, band, chorus, and orchestra. Broadcasting, Broncos Broadcasting News for morning announcements. Engineering and technology classes, which changes depending on what grade level. We have business education, health, PE, and project adventure, Spanish, study skills, reading, and math connection classes. Hi, I'm Michael from Cleveland Elementary School. I've heard Venice Mill School students been described as E3. What does E3 mean?
Hi, my name is Dana Nava, and I was wondering what I should know about the BMMS dress code. Greetings, future Broncos. We are so excited to have you join our school. I'm going to discuss a few things regarding dress code. This shirt, this t-shirt that I'm wearing, it is very appropriate and it's representing our school, Bennett's Mill Middle School. However, bandanas are fun and colorful, but they are not permitted at school. Bandanas may not be worn at school. Baseball caps and visors. These are excellent ways to represent your team. However, caps cannot be worn in the building or hoods. They are not permitted to be worn in the building. I know we've got some strong people coming over, but you can't show your muscles in a muscle shirt or tank top or spaghetti straps. Those items are not permitted in school unless you have a shirt or sweater on top of them. Fashion is the key. However, jeans with holes are not permitted above your knee unless you have something under them like leggings. That is brief information about our school dress code. We look forward to you and we look forward to you coming dressed and ready. Bronco strong. Hi, my name is Justin Tran from North Fayette Elementary School. I've heard about the several after school clubs at Bennett's Mill Middle School. Can you tell me about some of them? Hi Justin, my name is Mrs. Bozeman and I teach 6th grade English at Bennett's Mill Middle School. I saw your awesome question um, about the clubs that we offer, so I wanted to show you a little bit more about that. The easiest way to learn more about our clubs is if you go to the Bennett's Mill Middle School website. You can hover here over student activities, click on clubs and organizations. You get several sheets here that will show you a list of the clubs we offer at our school along with information as far as the sponsor, which teacher or teachers happen to sponsor that club, where and when this club meets, if there are membership fees, and if the club is available for sixth, seventh, and eighth graders, or maybe just sixth grade, maybe seventh, or maybe just eighth. You can look through these different sheets to learn a little bit more about all of the amazing clubs that we offer. Most of our clubs do meet after school, um, but we also, do a lot of fun things and community outreach. I'm actually very excited to be one of the sponsors for the Junior Optimist International Club and I hope that maybe you'll be interested in joining that when you come to Bennett's Mill. I hope I helped to answer some of your questions and I'm so glad you're going to be a Bronco. I hope you have a great summer and I can't wait to meet you next year. Hi and I'm a Spring Hill Elementary student in fifth grade. And my question for Bennett's Mill is, can you do sports? And my other question is, what sports do y'all have for us? Good afternoon, rising sixth graders and future Broncos. Um, first, let me just congratulate you all on making it through a milestone, a tremendous milestone in your life, um, being resilient in fifth grade and just overcoming everything that 2020 had to throw at you. Um, you've been resilient, you pressed on, and coming fall, you'll be a sixth grader. So congratulations there, my hats off to you. Uh, my name is Mr. Toms. I am a math teacher in the sixth grade, so I will see some of you all in my class. And I'm also a football coach here at Bennett's Mill. The question that was posed to me was, can sixth graders play sports? Unfortunately, right now, sixth graders are not allowed to participate in any of the um, organized sports like basketball and football and track um, as a sixth graders. We do, however, have other intramural activities that you'll be able to participate in. Uh, what we want you to focus on as a sixth grader is to come in and make sure that you're focused on your academics, making sure you're 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 getting you're getting to know and, and learning the expectations of all your teacher. Uh, it's a new transition for you guys, so we don't want to overwhelm you all. That's one of the reasons why, as a sixth grader, you cannot play sports. But what I would recommend you, if you are interested in playing sports, whether it's football, um, basketball, running track in your seventh grade year, let your let the coaches know um, once you get to know them. You know, let them know what your interests are. But more importantly, come in focused, come in with a plan, come in prepared to do your academics because 
Unlike rec ball, you would not be able to play sports if those academics are not up to par. So you want to come in and focus and make sure your academics are, are stellar, let the professors know, get to learn our expectations, and um, you'll have a, you will have a place for you in, in the seventh grade. Until then, um, stay safe, um, enjoy your summer, wash those hands, and I'm looking forward to meeting and working with you all in the fall, whether it's in my math class or on down the line when you play football in seventh grade because you have been a outstanding scholar. Um, until then, I'm signing off. Mr. Thomas, Coach Thomas, see y'all in the fall. Thanks. Hello, future Broncos. My name is Rika Smith. I am one of your assistant principals and athletic director. We are Bronco Strong. I look forward to meeting you. Let's go, Broncos. I look forward to being Bronco Strong. Hi, I'm Ms. Shada. I teach sixth grade world geography. At BMMS, we are Bronco Strong. I'm looking forward to being Bronco Strong. I look forward to being Bronco Strong. Hello, I'm Miss Irwin, and we're Bronco Strong. I look forward to being Bronco Strong. Hey, rising sixth graders. My name is Ms. Rickert. I'm one of the school counselors at Bennettsville Middle School, and I hope you're super excited about coming to Bennettsville because we are Bronco Strong. Hi, my name is Ms. Tucker. I'm one of the counselors at Bennett's Mill, and we are Bronco Strong. Hi, I'm Amy Gummerson, one of the assistant principals at Bennett's Mill, and we are Bronco Strong.